every spirit of thinking in a very terrible way. I bind it. I I destroy. I bend it and I throw it into the pit of hell. Hey guys, hey. welcome to day four of the hair issues series. So we're looking at the topic hair meat. So what are hair meat? Hair meat are things that people say that are not true about hair generally. So today we'll be looking at 10 or 11 hair meat they're about. I'm going to be giving those reasons why these things are not true. All right. Without wasting time. Firstly, dandruff can be contacted. That's a big part lie, a big lie from the pit of hell. It's not true. Dandruff is a skin condition caused by overly drying the scalp or when there are too much oils on your scalp. Okay, that's the causes of dandruff. It is not like lice that can be contacted. It can be passed. It's, it's contacted the word no, but you can get lice if someone close to you has lice. And hey, dandruff is not like that. If, if you're in the house with someone that has dandruff, you can't get it. It's not possible. So that's one meat. Dandruff cannot be contacted. Dandruff cannot be contacted. Dandruff is a scalp condition. It's gotten if your scalp is not is not scalping. Okay, that's one. Secondly, people say Ayurvedic herbs don't work. Like really? Are you serious? Do you know that Ayurvedic herbs are found in over ninety hair products? Over ninety percent of hair products we use. You either see rosemary infused oil, rosemary this, clove that, rose water this, that this. Please, what are those? Those are herbs. Those are plants. So everything that you're using on your hair that is 100% chemical, all right? Some of them are herbs. Some of them are spices. And they work so good. They strengthen your hair. They promote hair growth. Trust me, they thicken your hair. The volume I have on my hair, I have never had it before because there is something I'm doing different. And one thing that is very different in my hair routine is that you're very careful. I don't joke with it. Trust me. Those hair breakages and stuff that you are battling, they can actually be treated by your curves. Don't play. What we say is, find your herb. Find what works for you. Me. You see onion, ginger, garlic, rosemary, clove, cinnamon. I can't do without those ones. You see the others, I can Maybe, maybe not. But you see those ones I mentioned? Yeah, I made them in oils. I make them in spray. They are always with, they are always with me. So if you try it out and you see that there is no difference, Really, from you using the normal stuff, you can decide you don't want to. But please stop asking people and saying your vertical zone. You see, it's a vertical issue. We can talk about it from now to tomorrow and I will not stop. Anybody that tries to say it in my front, I'm going to give you water, water, okay? On one side. Number three, people say it's only when in your family there is hair. That's when your hair will grow. This is 2024, all right? And I believe that, I want to believe that the way we think should have like, be getting old. The, the, the world is becoming older. Jean is responsible for how fast your hair grows. Jean is responsible for hair loss. If you're experiencing alopecia, it's also responsible for how voluminous your hair can be. So our hair has, like, should I say, just the way the pores on our skin. When you have a lot of follicles, like, on your on your scalp, that is, those follicles are responsible. They are the ones that bring out the hair. That's where the hairs, the hairs come out from, rather. Those pores on your scalp, that's where the hairs come out from. So you don't, if you don't have a significant amount of follicles on your scalp, the follicles you have on your hair is where the hair, the, the hair will come out from. So if they are not plenty, you don't expect plenty of hair. But you can use the product to make those strands that come out from all those scanty pores. You can make them thicker. The thicker your strands are, the fuller your hair will be. So I'm going to use a very good example. If I should hold 10 sewing threads, that's 10. All right. And then I hold five thick sewing threads, just five. Trust me, even the 10 strands of tiny threads might not be as thick as the Five thick threads. Do you understand the thing? So it doesn't matter if your follicles are not a lot. As long as your hair is healthy and those strands are thick, trust me. Once you have a thick strand, you don't have a fine strand. Eh? Your hair will look full. It will give you that volume, voluminous volume stuff that you want. You can decide that you want your hair to be different. The moment you start having, you start growing your hair long and healthy. If your children also don't take good care of their hair, trust me. Even if you had long hair, your husband have long hair, and your children's hair, their hair might just grow very fast, but their hair will not be able to retain any length. Do you understand your ideology? So, the ball is actually in your court. Gene or no gene? It's in your court. If you have hair in your family, and you don't treat your hair well, you will still not have the hair. Your hair will still not be long. It might just look very full. It might just be there. It might grow very fast, but you might not be able to retain length at some particular stage of your hair. A place where you can no longer maintain it, like when you were maintaining it when it was very short, you start losing hair, and your hair will not be able to grow past there. And the highest you will do is I want to go and relax my hair. So please, this gym topic, let's stop it. You can do better, I beg. Number four, your hair can go in two weeks. 
Did you grow in two weeks? Let me just ask you that question. You, did you grow in two weeks? Did you grow in one month? Even when you were developing your mother's womb, how many months did it take you? Nine months. Even some people stay more. My own mother stayed for, it's not a year. I think a year or so. Plus, everybody however long they stayed. <laughs> so please tell me how your hair grow in two weeks. I don't need to start explaining about that one, but please, let's, let's just stop it. Just stop it, Habra. Even according to science, our hair grows six um, inch in a year. So that is half inch per month. Let me not talk too much. I beg, please. Ah, which will let me rest. Number five. Tight hair grows your hair faster. Stankechi. Brother Himika. <laughs> Seriously? Are we really doing this? You mean tight hair destroys your scalp? That's what you're trying to say. Oh, grows your hair. Please stop pulling a big. So because it's tight, it's pulling out the hair that is underground. Every spirit of thinking in a very terrible way, I bind it. I scatter. I destroy. I bend it and I throw it into the pit of hell. Repent from your thoughts. Listen, for the kingdom of long hair is at hand. Why have you been doing such a thing? Let me not talk. Next point. Is this number six now? Number six. I hear people saying trimming your hair leads to it helps your hair grow fast. Hey, all of you are just saying all this nonsense because you help your hair grow fast. Help your, you should not anybody deceive you. Now, why do we trim, trim? Why do we trim our hair? It gets a certain stage, probably because of use of products or because you did not even moisturize your hair properly. You start having split ends. What are split ends? Split ends is when the down part of your hair it's no longer equal and it starts breaking. It's already so dry and it can no longer stand on its own. It starts breaking. No products has penetrated it. And you notice that the down part of your hair is no longer thick. If you want to see what I talked about, split and check the video before my previous video. I talked about this very well in the hair breakage video. I'll probably link put the link. Sorry. I'll put the link here. You can go and watch it. When you have split ends, that's when you trim your hair. And when you notice that the down part of your hair, it's not just like it's not just giving and maybe it's just breaking off because of how dry it is. That's when you trim. I don't expect that you should always have split ends. If you know you take care of your hair very well, your hair should always be held at least for months before you even think of seeing anything like split ends whatsoever. So it should not be something that you trim your hair every single time. So trimming your hair does not make your hair grow faster. Trimming your hair only helps keep your strands healthy and to prevent it from breakage. Capish? Sound that suit. Please, trimming your hair doesn't make your hair grow very fast. Stop it. Don't do it. A seven. I hear people saying natural hair does not grow. That's a big fat lie. As long as you are human, you are alive, you are breathing, our hair grows. Even when you're experiencing hair loss and so on, the, as long as you're not bowed yet, you might just be experiencing a lot of hair falling. But as long as you're not bowed and that those spots are not bowed, you might notice that you still have little growth. Now, the issue you are having is that you're not able to retain length, basically. People say natural hair does not grow. Your issue is that you don't retain length. You have issue with length retention. You have big problem with length retention. And that's the reason why your hair looks like it's not growing. Okay? And length retention is when you cannot retain a length. Instead, whatever hair you get, like it keeps falling off. So while the one is growing, the end part of your hair is also breaking off. Okay? That's the issue you are having. That's the problem you're having. So stop saying natural hair does not grow. Your hair grows every day. Why is it that you always have to put in new relaxer? You're putting in new relaxer because there's a new growth, right? Underneath. And that new growth needs to be relaxed. That's why the, hard, the down part of your hair is so hard to come. That is new growth that you're going to add relaxer on. Whenever you make your hair and you leave the hair for a month, two months, you notice that the, 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 the space, there's a space in between your scalp and the extension you used. There's a space that that's what's making your hair look very rough. That is a new growth. It might be half inch, it might be one inch, I don't know, but it is a new growth. So our hair grows every day. Stop saying your natural hair does not grow. There are a lot of proof that our natural hair grows. I'm a living testimony. Mm -hmm. Now, the next one, which is number eight, they're about split ends can be repaired. I heard people saying if you have split end, you can repair it. No, that's where trimming comes in. Split ends can never be repaired. Once you have split ends, my dear, cut it off. So the earlier you start noticing that you're having tiny split ends at the tip of your hair, please trim it off. Unless eh, it will go upward, it will start getting up, to start going up rather, and it will start affecting the good part of your hair. The other good strands, it will start affecting it. So the best thing for you to do for the health of your hair is to trim off the split ends now that you are noticing it. If you are experiencing breakage and all sorts of dryness, you possibly might have split ends. Just cut it off to wherever you notice the fullness of your hair. Even if it is three inch, four inch, just chop it away. Just dust off that end and that way your curls will pop. It will grow better. Okay? Th those down parts is not helping the hair to grow well. 
because it will keep breaking. So do everything possible you can to just trim off the split ends. It cannot be repaired. It's damaged. It is damaged. There's nothing you can do about it. Okay. Now, another point, I hear people saying oil can moisturize your hair, my dearly beloved. Oil cannot oil and any oil is not a moisturizer. It is not a moisturizer. All right. Go and get moisturizing hair mist. Go and get a living conditioner, a deep conditioner, a moisturizer. Those are the things that can moisturize your hair. Oils do not moisturize your hair. They don't. I'm so sorry to break your heart, but they don't. The ninth point, I heard people saying natural hair is expensive. Natural hair is not expensive at all. When it comes to natural hair journey, I'm going to talk about it in the next video after this. When it comes to buying products for your natural hair journey, you basically don't need to buy more than, I don't think you need to buy more than six or five products there about. Your shampoo, your conditioner, if you're using the conditioner, fine, but I skip normal conditioner, I do deep conditioning. So let's say your shampoo, deep conditioning, leave-in conditioner, um, oil and cream. That's basically it. But for added nutrients, you cannot decide to get hair mask, um, hair spray, um, hair scrub, scalp scrub, what else? And some other stuff like that, just for it. But the five things, the, the, the five stuff I mentioned are like the basic things you need in your hair routine. So you now need to go according to your budget. That's why we have different brands. And you can't tell me that the only brands that work for you is the most expensive imported brand. No. There are brands, especially if you're in Nigeria, there are brands, Nigerian made brands that are very, very good. Trust me. I've tried some Nigerian brands and I really love them. And one thing I love from Nigerian brands and Africa, if, um, Africa in brands is that their products are like directed straight to our own type of hair. Hmm? So if you can source out for very good uh, Nigerian products, trust me. Trust me, you really you really see effects. It will work very well. Okay. Don't worry, guys. Very soon by October, my products will be out for sale and it will be available for you guys to get it. Okay. Yeah. If you don't buy, we're gonna fight. Real good, we'll fight. I heard I heard though that the less time you wash your hair, the faster your hair grows. So in other words, death. When your hair is left on its own with death, that's how fast your hair will grow. Ha. You guys do this, body, body, eh? You are a body, and you've not washed your hair for one month. And since if, I'm, I was seeing people saying they the, um, lose my hair, my six months, I have not washed my hair for six months. I'm, oh, God. Trust me, I can't cope with that. The itchiness, the smell, the headache—it's just very terrible. Please, the highest you should go. I yes, say no wash your hair at all, two months, and even that two months. Maybe you were inside like most of the time. Maybe in a week, maybe you come out just once or twice. So you didn't even have any business with outside, with dust, with dirt. And maybe even using your products, you were not consistent with this for that one week. Maybe you were only applying your product once in a week. And you used to skip the remaining days and your hair was in a protective hairstyle. And still, it's not even very advisable. If I'm on my twist and I'm carrying it for two months or any hairstyle, I will wash my hair in between. And if you notice that you don't wash my hair in between the two months, there's a high chance that I was not consistently moisturizing my hair and it was in a protective hairstyle that I did not disturb it. And I actually don't go out, so I don't have any business with those. And if at all I carry my hair out, most of the time it's covered. Except I just like make the hair recent and it's still looking very new and neat. Aside twist, twist, even if it's rough, you can still take it out and style it well. But please don't keep your hair that long. Wash off the dirt. And when you wash it off, use a clarifying shampoo to help your life and, your, and the destiny of your hair. With that being said, we've come to the end of the meet. If you remember any meet, anything you guys know that people talk about that is not true, leave it in the comments, okay? Just write it in the comments. Let's 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 come for these people. So guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for being a serious with me today. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Subscribe. 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 The goal is to hit 1K or surpass 1K before the end of the year. And it's only you guys that can help me do so please share this video leave a comment watch the other videos any video is that pop up watch everything and god will bless you god will strengthen you god will enable you people will come out and stand for you anyways thank you guys see you in my next video bye